Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And it seems like everybody in the community's got a walker fever. Uh, I don't know if that's from me or just the ongoing thing, but uh, I've been trying to get that spider to work, and that hasn't worked out too well. And then uh, there's a big uh, discussion going on now, sort of like a challenge, as you will, sort of a race to the first walker going on. So uh, we'll see how that interesting that goes, but. I want to do something a little bit smaller this time. Uh, I'm going to use a mechanic I was working on. I don't think I ever showcased it, but it was an idea I had. Uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers because I want to bring this back. I want to attempt to do this. It's going to be one of the, the mad scientist projects. And hopefully it's going to work. Uh, especially with the new Unity, it's going to definitely help. Especially with uh, all the hinges I'm going to be using. But anyways, uh, as you saw from the video, uh, or the thumbnail, I want to go back to... Uh, adding another, oh, hang on, itchy foot, adding another insect to the bug collection, I, I guess we'll say. Uh, hang on. Oh. Uh, this map looks familiar, that is because I am right next to the maze labyrinth, and why not? Got something this big, I'm going to start going with something that's technically small, but it's not going to be that small, but... Uh, from what I've seen in the past, this should work, and I wanted to use a terrain like this because it gives some hills to see if we can actually sort of see if the, the intro can climb up the, the dirt hill over there. But what I'm going to do is get on this side here so I can actually see it. We're going to, of course, make it green because it's an inch worm. Uh, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide an air blade in the top here, and that's just to sort of... That's not the block I'm looking for. It never is. But it's just going to be sort of keeping the weight up from the center. It's not going to be like lifting it up because it's probably going to be a little heavier than that. Uh, yeah, let's actually go with one. Uh, so, eh, I forgot. I'm in, I'm in creative. I don't need to worry about that. Uh, so the front, it's going to be seven wide, and that's because I want to have two air blades in the front, two air blades in the back. Uh, so I'm going to start with a frame here, so it's going to be seven, right, because the air blades are three, so it's going to be seven, nine. Nine because it's mirrored on the other side. And, yeah, then what I'll do is I'll put an air blade in here, with a trusty old three. We'll fill in the sides here. This should be a fairly quick build, I think. Uh, there's also been talked to about, uh, uh, or I won't say talk, but someone requested a possibly a live stream. Uh, and I think we might be able to work one out this weekend. I'm going from day shift to night shift, so I gain basically an extra day on the weekend. So that definitely be doable. Uh, and I just realized something because of my hinges. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure that it doesn't uh, fold back on itself. Like I want to just sort of this, this from, I want to stop this from going below the front and back so it doesn't sort of buckle. And then what I'll do, end up doing is I'll put a hinge here. Uh, that's the hinge right there. Like so. Place a block there. Hang on. I built this too low. Or did I? Yes, I did. I cheated. No, of course I cheated. All right, so let's go ahead and get a slope, not a generator. And the reason why I'm using this is because I want to sort of hide this joint a little bit. And this should technically work, but that's never been the case in this game. Uh, I'm gonna leave this rounded or square like that, but I will find the right block because when I want it lay, when it's laying flat I want it to sort of sort of look like a worm actually we'll do this afterwards maybe I'll see if I can try to get around it so and that this is basically going to be hovered up and that's just to lift some of this weight because right now it's it's about 1400 uh, it doesn't have to carry all the weight because the front end is technically, technically going to be pushing it up and that's going to be bending at the hinges and hopefully Everything should work out okay. I will be using sort of the the alternating pattern that I was using with the spider where I'm doing the forwards and backwards. 
uh, forward is going to be uh, pushing the back up, but at the same time, the front's going to be pushing down towards the ground to get traction so it doesn't go anywhere. So uh, I'll explain that once we get to it. But anyways, uh, hmm. You know what I should do? Just for the sake of things snapping when they shouldn't, I'm going to build this out. And yeah, I'll do it like here. Because I don't want it snapping to here, even though technically it shouldn't, but uh, sometimes a block goes there when it needs to go here. So I'm just going to go ahead and unlock that, drop it down, lock it again, and take those out. So now I have this. And this is just basically going to be the frame. It's going to be a connection point from the midsection to the head, and then I'll be having another one on the back side. Uh, for this, I'm going to have a line of blocks going up here, and basically making a framework. Uh, I might try to use the slopes and get like a curvature. As far as the height goes, I could probably somewhere around there. I don't want it too heavy. Uh, mind you, we'll see how the air blades do. I can always stack them if I really need to. But let me go ahead and get the, uh, this sort of worked out, and I'll bring you back with what I have. Okay, so here's what I got. Uh, it's sun's still coming up. I could have slept in a little bit longer, but I'm eager to get this thing done. Uh, but I've been thinking about the controls, the control setup. Originally, I was going to have these on uh, hover mode. Uh, that might not work out too well because altitude changes and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, when the back end is being pulled in, that I'll be holding space at the same time just to help this lift up and uh, go from there. So now we got to get the front ends. Now this side is only going to be bending down this way. So then that means the front end is only going to be bending upwards. So it'll be a little bit easier to build this one. Uh, this end is where the cockpit's going to be, or the, the head of the... The beast, we'll call it, because there'll probably be a beast by the time I'm done with it. Anyway, uh, so we're going to go ahead and put a hinge there. We're going to put a block here, and then we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go seven. Uh, in case you're wondering, too, I did make it all out of slopes to make it as light as possible. And even then, it's still 3,500 tons. But, uh, eh, whatever. It'll work. It'll work. I got room to sneak some air blades in there if I really need to. Get a little bit of cheating magic going. All right, so we've got like that. Now, for the, I don't know how big I want to make this. Because uh, I made the midsection there 12, so we'll probably make this like a, like an eight. So it's going to be a small little bug. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Six plus the two blocks, and I got to round it. So... We'll go four. We'll go four and then uh, we will go in like so, if I can get on the right axis here. Like so. Uh, we'll put another one of these in here. Yeah, my mouse wheel is... I hate this mouse. It's got one of those uh, Windows buttons on the side of it. But it's not an issue. I like the button, but you just... It's got one of these features where you slide your thumb down and it does a backspace. So when I'm in a br web browser, and I, I go and put my hand on the mouse, my thumb slides down, and it goes back a page. Kind of bugs me. Uh, the, the wheel is kind of oversensitive sometimes. I get it too when I'm cycling through hot bars and other games. Uh, it tends to be all over the place. And I have to like spin it a couple of times to get it working a little bit better. Uh, batteries have been just changed too, so what do I have here? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I went too far. Yes, that's why I couldn't get by. All right, one, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. Is it there? Yes, it's right there. Okay, let me go like that. And like so. Throw another seven on it. And the other way. I'm going to just fill it in with... Uh, Hmm. You know, let's put the cockpit right in the front here. 
I was going to put it more on the head, but I think right in the front would be perfect. And I tell you, it's going to be a fun one to drive from the cockpit view. All right, let's get up here so I can actually see what I'm going to do. So that's basically going to be the front end here you know, for the controls. And I wonder if I have enough room for this now. I might have had to go a little bit bigger, which is fine because I can just throw another roll of blocks on the bottom. Uh, I'm lost. It's nothing new. Because the air blades need th these three blocks here. If I place it here, and that's going to line up here. You know what? I think it'll just fit. I think so. So let me uh, work this in and uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, there it is. It's a little little box in the front, but hey, it's, I'm going to be a first time driver or first time incher, I guess we'll say. So I'm going to need a bit of a bumper, so I might have to paint that black, I don't know. Uh, what I did is I left a little bit of room here so it can actually go back and not hit here. I'm hoping there's going to be enough room in there. Uh, I was right about the air blades. They are basically as high as they can go, so I'll probably have to bring this down a little bit more. Uh, maybe just for the, the sake of it. We'll just go ahead and put these on and we'll, we'll, call, them, we'll call them little feet. Actually, that's a good idea. I don't think they actually have feet. They might have like little uh, things or something they have. Feelers, I guess we'll call them. I don't know. The only thing I know about inchworms is uh, they're small, they're green, and they go inch by inch. That's why they're inchworms. But yeah, we'll just do this just to sort of give it some sort of cushion. Oh, missing a foot. There we go. And this way it just gives the air blade some room, and I'm not weighing it down too much because it's already getting heavy as it is. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to, before I go and do this, I'll just explain how I'm going to have this set up. Uh, get the block on my face, turn build vision on, Let's see how we're doing on weight. We're not too bad there. We're not too bad here. Uh, we're not flying this thing. So we're more or less moving it in two pieces. So as I, as I was saying, I was going to be using the, the hover up on this, and I'm actually going to turn the stabilization off. Is it on or off? I think it's off. I can't remember. Okay, it's supposed to be the little circly ones, yes. Okay, so it was on. So then that way, when I push space, it just lifts this up, almost acts like a muscle. So then that way, the back end is going to have a set of air blades just like the front that's going to be pushing forward now I have done some testing with this and I've uh, experimented it back when uh, back in season one near the end there I was messing around with the air blades on chains and whatnot but when you have a have air blades side mounted like this uh, with stabilization off using the directional which uh, bring this up here directional will create thrust and in this case, if I put, were to push forward, it's going to push, aim the air blade down, and it's going to actually pull the thing, the sort of basically push it up at a 45 degree angle. Uh, the back end, when this is going down, or aiming down, the back end, it, back, the pair in the back, I'm sorry, uh, my mouth doesn't want to cooperate today. Uh, Yes, they're going to be facing, they're going to be pointing upwards, so they're going to be pushing down to the ground. Maybe the, these little slopes are going to help get some grip on the ground. So basically, uh, that's pushing down while the front end is pushing up and forward, so it's going to be moving, basically extending the front end. And when I push back, the front end is going to clamp down the ground. The back end is going to be tilting towards the ground so creating upward thrust and I'm going to be holding space at the same time which is going to lift the weight off of this so it's going to be like forward back in space forward back in space to walk it and then I can get directional set up in the front so when I'm pushing when I'm pushing forward the back end is being pushed down so if I go to left and right it's going to swing the body left and right it's not going to go anywhere because technically it should be pushed down the bottom 
in theory. Keep in mind, this is in theory. You call it whack job theories, just, you know, ideas that may never work. But anyways, uh, let me throw a back end on this thing, and then we'll take it for, I won't say a run, I guess I'll say we'll take it for an inch or two. And there it is, my tiny little inchworm. Uh, I'm actually curious to see how this is going to work out. Uh, I did a little something in the back, too, the way the blocks worked out. I decided to do a little bit of a defense mechanism. So in that way, the, the predators will think this is the back end here, or the front end, so they'll go, for, go bite us in the ass instead of bite us in the face, right? But I do have everything configured. Uh, so the front there is, when I go forward, that's pushing up. And that's pushing down when I go backwards that pushes down that pushes up while I hold space to lift that up and then I have some steering in the front so hopefully this will work famous last words uh, well I'll lock it after we drop it okay man S solid okay there's one two and right about now, the physics would take over and completely obliterate me. All right. So now the question is, is it going to work? In theory, and in theory, it would help if I had the microphone a little closer to me. All right. So we push up, and nothing's happening. It's too heavy. Oh, that was a utter disaster. That's too heavy for this. Wants to move. Well, let's put this to the test. I'm going to take the shell off and we'll try it again. Okay, inch by inch, take two. Hopefully. Hopefully only two takes. All right, so in theory... Uh, supposed to do something like this. There we go. It's sort of working. Needs to be a little heavier in the front. Yeah, and I didn't even think of that. They're all they're all pushing forward when I hover. That's hilarious. Oh, I got my controls backwards, do I? That midsection doesn't want to go up now. Oh, what's the problem? I think what the problem is... I need to have the stabilization on so they retain the hover. Just to keep that weight off, maybe. I don't know. Prototype work in progress. It's one of the crazy ideas from that scientist. And now it just doesn't want to work. And there we go. It's a scudder. But as you can see in the back end, that's what's supposed to happen in the front. Uh, the midsection is actually supposed to lift it up. And what I'm thinking, because I did put air eight batteries on this, maybe we'll throw some more air blades on. Almost looks like it fused too. But the center's of mass are still there. I kind of had a feeling it was going to be this. This away. Yeah, nothing ever works out the way it should. Okay, I need. Can I reach it? I can. Oh, and we're off. That's what I was looking for. All right, so now let's, act, let's try this without the hover mode. Oh, watch my toes. Don't want to get stuck in that pinch point. All right, hover off, hover off, hover off, hover off. Okay, let's try this again. All right. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. We have an inchworm. That 
See if I can actually steer it. Yeah, we've hit a snag. Oh, we can steer it. Oh, it's promising. Oh, it's a mighty strong inchworm. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can go over the go over the hill there. Uh, actually, moves faster than a spider. <laughs> I'll admit that. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I killed it. I killed it. Hmm. I wonder if I can write this thing. Nope, because I don't have the air blades on. And I forgot to save it. <laughs> what I can do... Let's see if I can spread these out a little bit. Let's see if we can save it with the blueprint. Come on, come on. No, no. We got a regular. Oh, what's this? Can I do it? Come on. Uh, we almost got it. Almost got it. Aha. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get this right. Timing is the key with this thing. And you know what? You don't even have to use the back. I'm just using space and then forward. So there we go. We have an inchworm. Let's see if we can steer this thing a little bit. I got my steering backwards. That's why I'm going the wrong way. Let's try this again. So I'm actually wondering now. Well, now because I, I took I took half the weight off, I put that thing back on. The weight's gonna be back up to where it was, and the air blades aren't gonna do anything. So, um, excuse me. Let's try this again. Steering, please. Okay, let's try that. That's better. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't steer while you're going forward too well. And I had a rock. There we go. We have an inchworm. Not a walker, but it's a crawler. It's an incher. It's kind of fun to get distressed beacons in survival and creative. The problem with stuff like this is you always get confused. Uh, like your keys. You want to go forward, but I don't have to be pushing space to get the midsection to go up. Well, that is definitely interesting. It's a shame that it couldn't take the extra weight. But I think that's going to be, we'll call it a half success on this one. Took a, needed a bit of a haircut and a little bit of extra power in the middle, but it's definitely working. And so what I'm going to do now, one of the things I'm going to do with the, the workshop now is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to blueprint. Every time I do, every, after every episode, I will create a blueprint of the build and upload it to the workshop once it's actually, once the video is actually online. I'll go here and I'll try to get a nice, nice screenshot of this. There we go. There we go. Inchy the inchworm. All right, I will create that. I will, like I said, I will publish that to the workshop after I upload the video. And oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. And with that, I'm gonna call the episode. And I thank you, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.